Hi, I'm singer-songwriter Oscar Butler, and you are at another episode of Hanging with Oscar. So, what we are here is, uh, this is a new thing that I'm kind of making available. I think I'm going to start doing this possibly online, um, live on Facebook, or even um, I've been considering doing this as a, uh, a Zoom meeting where people can come and hang out and have coffee with me. <laughs> it's coffee break time. On Oscar Butler Music, on YouTube. But anyway, this is just the recap of the past week. Everything seems, everything this week is kind of a day late. For instance, uh, my song a week, I didn't release that until Saturday. Um, and then this update, which I usually do on Monday, it's today, Tuesday. But that's okay. It's quite all right. I think um, I, I think you can forgive me for doing that. But anyway, uh, what's happened this past week is uh, last Tuesday I did my little kitchen concert, um, and it was fun. It was I think that was the one in Boston. Was that the one in Boston? I can't remember. It seems my days just like blow and flow and mesh together to where I forget things. So now I actually have to um, kind of specifically write things down where my calendar was working but it's just my calendar was mostly for my gigs that I w that I had scheduled but since everything got shut down then um, you know I the calendar I had to go through the calendar kind of delete things from my schedule and then um, I, I'm doing um, I'll, I'll talk about a little bit about some other um, ways that I'm diversifying, that, that I'm spreading out, because primarily music is my income. Music was my main income, and um, up until, like, the COVID virus lockdowns happened, you know, I never imagined, you know, I always thought, well, you know, if I'm not getting gigs, I can always busk. But the thing is, is that once the COVID virus lockdowns happened, busking even was out of the picture, which was like, well, now what do I do? <laughs> So that's why I started streaming, and believe me, I have learned so much about video and about streaming <laughs> that I'm, I'm thinking of maybe opening another another hat that you know I've got. I, I tend to wear lots of hats, but I'm um, gonna think considering opening a little another hat where I, I will actually produce or do um, shows for other people. But anyway. Um, so uh, last last Wednesday, I got out my next, uh, I think it's the third of ten um, episodes of uh, my songwriting rules where I'm talking about being inspired, staying inspired, little quick tips on staying inspired. So that, that happened on Wednesday. Another thing that happened on Wednesday too, though, was that um, I did a a taping for a, a local winery, which I'm not going to mention right now because it's it's actually going to be aired um, in about a week, in about two weeks, well, about a week, I think, on the 27th, but it's going to be aired on the 27th. Um, but it was really neat. Um, Chris Dracup, who is a great, incredible musician, I love him and I love his music, but he was, um, he was kind of spearheading this whole thing where they were um, recording musicians, local musicians, for this show, and so I, I got to do that on Wednesday, and it was fun. Um, found a new place, Vara Winery, Vara, Vara Distillery, I think it is, because I know they they do wine, but they also do like whiskey and um, uh, brandy, and I think a few other things. But uh, I, you know, for part of the pay, it was like I got this bottle of great whiskey, and it's like it's really good. <laughs> so, and I'm I, I'm a, I'm a bourbon person. I'm a whiskey man. But um, anyway, so I did that. That happened on Wednesday. And then um, Thursday, I think I did some videos. I've been, uh, again, I'll talk, about, I'll talk a little bit more about other things that I've been doing in between a lot of my music posts. Um, Thursday happened, let's see, Thursday, Friday, um, I didn't, didn't turn out my uh, show for, or, or my song a week until Saturday. Sat Saturday, I didn't post that. Um, Saturday was cool because I did this thing. I got invited by Dennis from the Cell Theater. He um, got a hold of me um, earlier in the week and asked me if I wanted to come and play. And uh, the way he put it was uh, play on a porch in the shade um, while people drove through. And it, what it was was a drive-through growers market. 
and I think it's got I think it's connected with the downtown growers market, which at this point, and I'm not even sure if it's even going to run this year, but it's a, it's a massive, it's a big growers market that happens downtown at uh, Robinson Park, which is about a block and a half from me. Um, but it's not it has it hasn't been happening because of the, the whole COVID nineteen um, lockdowns and stuff. But I guess what's happening is is that you can go onto their website, and I think they're expanding the number of vendors too. But you can contact particular vendors that you worked with or that you would come and visit or buy from, contact them, and then set up on Saturday to go to this area by the theater by the uh, Cell and Fusion Theaters and uh, pick up your order. Uh, but while that's happening is they have music. So I was up on this little kind of stage area. It's, it's basically a dock, a dock on one of the, um, one of the theaters on the, I, I'm not sure if it's a fusion, but uh, one of the theaters there. But I set up there and it's in the shade. It's beautiful, it's excellent. And I play and people kind of drive past me. There's a sign that explains who I am and then I had my banner up there. But then they had a tip jar, which that was cool because people could drive by and as they, if they liked the music, they could tip. And the thing about the music too was that um, Dennis was broadcasting it right in that area on FM radio, so people could actually tune in on their radios and listen to me playing while they were sitting in the line waiting to come through the drive-through growers market. It was so cool. I loved it. Um, let's see what else happened. That was the drive-through growers market. Okay, so. Um, and then uh, Sunday, blah, 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 not uh, musically, uh, writing, you know, I, I actually wrote uh, my next, my next song a week song is already done. I, um, I wrote that on Sunday, I believe, and it's, it's a good one. I like it. But uh, let's see. Oh, um, diversifying, because like I said, my, my main income was music, and now that that's kind of shut down, I have to figure out other things that I do. Now, a lot of people who know me in music don't know that I am a fitness professional. And, and it's funny because as a, uh, it, pe people, people who know me from being a fitness professional, a lot of them don't know that I'm a musician. See, I worked in, uh, I worked in uh, multiple gyms around town, but I worked at Define Fitness for a very long time as an aerobic instructor and then eventually a, a personal trainer. And um, the thing is, is that it's, it's, it's almost like, I, I, and people kid me about it, I'm kind of like Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, because as a fitness instructor, when I was working at Define Fitness, I um, started these classes called uh, FIT, P-H-I-T, or Personal High Intensity Training, where I was, I was like a drill sergeant. I kicked people's butts badly, but they loved it. Man, the people who wanted those classes... And so I had a great following there, but a lot of them didn't know that I was a musician. You know, I, I'd be yelling at them one time, one, you know, one minute, and then that night, I'd be off singing sweet love songs, <laughs> you know, to, to a crowd in the evening. So that's what I'm diversifying with is that I'm, you know, because I, I have to supplement, figure out how to supplement my income, I've started to do some online training. I've got a great setup where I'm, I've got... Um, few people with that I'm doing one-on-one -on -one personal training where they can be at their house I can be at my house and we're doing using zoom to do that but I'm also getting ready to open up some classes uh, where you can um, uh, tune in with zoom and be part of a class and they're they're you know they're just basic keep getting in, in, in shape classes it's called getting fit with Oscar um, you can find me on Facebook right now. I haven't, I haven't um, decided whether I'm going to open up a YouTube channel for that, but, I, but the videos that I do um, do for Getting Fit with Oscar, I post on my music page, on Oscar Butler Music um, on Facebook, and there's a, a playlist there that has just my fitness workouts on there. And there's only a few right now. I've got like four, um, well, three and then one, um, quickie, I, I, a little ad ad that I posted on Facebook, and I think that's going to be there. Um, let's see, how's your coffee? Are you are, are you having some coffee with me? <laughs> this is Oscar Butler's coffee break. So anyway, uh, let's see. So that's that's one thing. Uh, so I'm doing the the fitness videos, the online classes are getting ready to start. So best way to contact me is either if you're on Facebook through. On Facebook Messenger message 
message, messenger, I, whatever, whatever the Facebook message thing is, or you know, you can you can actually just leave a comment um, if this is on Facebook and you want to comment, then just I can let me know that you want to be contacted and I'll contact you. Um, or you can send it to my um, email address, which is coolduckstuff at gmail.com. Um, let's see. Do, 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 do. And at this, at this time, it's, it's um, in a, on a donation basis. So, you know, I, I ask if you want to donate to help me continue to do the, the content and to do the classes. It's, it's a donation thing. So, um, I mean, I've got uh, PayPal me, uh, which is PayPal me uh, slash Oscar Butler. And then there's also I do Venmo, which is at Oscar Butler Music, where, where I can take online payments or credit card payments or donations that way. So, um, so as far as the fitness classes right now, they're, um, they're basically free. But I ask, you know, to, to help me continue them and to support my um, process in doing them, feel free to, 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 donate, to, to donate to my cause. Uh, let's see. That's, that's kind of about it. Um, otherwise, I hope that everybody out there in um, Streamland or Videoland or wherever you're watching this from, I hope you're healthy. I hope um, that you're not going crazy from being locked down as, as things slowly start to open up. It's, it's kind of nice. I'm ready. I mean, I'm ready to get back out there in terms of when it comes to music. But I, in, in one of my big thoughts when I decided, well, you know, let's just go throw the effort into the video, into the fitness videos, is that I'm not sure that the music scene is going to shake out as quickly as I'd like it to in terms of people starting to book and stuff like that. But in the meantime, I've actually been, have been having some great times between doing my own streaming and then doing streaming for other places. Like I'm going to be doing a stream for um, Solid Ground Coffee House, which uh, will be posted, I think, in about two, um, two weeks or a week from this coming Saturday. And uh, again, I will, I will post all of that so that you know. But also, make sure that you subscribe to my YouTube channel, Oscar Butler Music on YouTube, whether it's for music or for fitness, subscribe to that and you'll get, you'll find out every time I post and every time I go live streaming. So after all of that, which did I breathe? Did I breathe through any of that? Hmm. Anyway, feel free to contact me to leave comments on any of my videos, to text me or to, or to rather message me and um, enjoy life. Enjoy life. Okay. So see you later. Thank <laughs> you.